Brian Tedder is the lead vocalist of One Republic and wrote the song, Secret. He says, I'm sick of all the insincere. This time, don't need another perfect lie. Don't care if critics ever jump in line. I'm going to give all my secrets away. The greatest secret of them all is that there is no secret. There's no secret way to manifest. There's no secret way to stay healthy. There's no secret to healthy relationships. There is no secret to any of that or more. There is no secret because by definition, nothing is really kept from you. And it's not just because there are books to read about those ideas, that there, there's teachers, the best teachers out there to find for those ideas and tools, or even because of the availability of information from the Internet. Your mindfulness, your imagination, your curiosity, your open-heartedness, your sense of wonder and being present in the moment is all the education you desire. Your senses are your teacher. Your willingness to explore is your teacher. The power and presence that is an eight in you is your teacher. No one and no thing is being kept a secret. No one is keeping a secret from you and nothing can keep a secret from you. Now, exploration, exploration isn't just about hiking the Andes or diving into the Mariana Trench or experimenting with hallucinogens or whatever is exploration in your life and in, in your adventure. Exploration is also living with eyes wide open. Exploration is having your heart and brain awake. Exploration is hearing, listening, and comprehending what is around you. Exploration is allowing, connecting, and receiving inspiration, information, and motivation from the divine, from God, from everywhere. All of that is already a part of you. All of that was given to each and every one of us at birth. Even if some biology of the senses are not working like the others, this amazing vehicle that we've been put in takes over with added sensitivity in other parts of your life, in other parts of your senses. It's not a secret. There is no need for a dark night of the soul to break through. You're not more deserving of enlightenment if you have felt isolated from anything and everything and abandoned by God or the universe. Have you ever felt that way? Or felt lost and confused about your direction in life or felt despair and horror at what's going on in the world or felt a sense of overwhelming dread or deep tiredness in your bones. You don't have to have gone through any of that. You don't have to have felt your motivation shot to hell and a loss of interest in most things. And you don't have to keep pondering your purpose or who you are and feel like you don't belong on this planet or go through trauma, sadness, hurt, or any of that. You don't have to go through all that to be enlightened. You don't have to go through unhappiness, despondency, feeling loss, and then after that shifting your perspective, and then after that seeking answers and meaning, and then after that finding answers and experiencing breakthroughs and maybe disillusionment and feeling lost again, and then going deeper into work before this integration, expansion, and joy shows up in your life. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong to go through those things. I've gone through those things. 
Most of the people I know have gone through these things, but we have to know and accept the truth as well as the fact that we don't have to go through those things in order to find some secret that's not even a secret. Because believing there's some secret or secrets that is kept from us, that we have to seek out or go through junk things in our lives or else, that puts us in a lack victim mode. Sometimes I, I go around and, uh, and I see these teachers and they're, they're teaching all these things. You know, I've been through these traumas and I've been through this and that and the other and I've gotten through the other side and so you should listen to me. And that's not invalid. I'm not, I'm not um, invalidating that. I'm just saying that we don't have to do that. Yes, it's, it's great to be in um, camaraderie, so to speak, with people who've gone through a similar, similar trauma or, or loss. But we don't have to. And the point is that we need to know we don't have to go through that in order to have a joyous life, in order to call our lives a life a success. Otherwise, we're putting ourselves in a lack victim mode. And why do we want to start there or middle there or, or end there? Why do we want to start behind? Why do we want to have to catch up? If we do, fine. There are tools and ideas that I, everybody and I bring up every week to enable that. And that's great. But I didn't have to go, really, I didn't have to go through my kidney stone thing many years ago to tap into some anger that happened to be lurking in me. If you look up um, kidney stones, they have a connection to um, uh, un, unreleased anger. Except to the fact that I wasn't opening up to learning and dealing with that uh, until I hit that four-day pain event. And evidently... I needed that four day pain event to discover that, but there was no secret kept from me. I didn't have to go through that whole pre-divorce crap, marriage junk events to see the red flags. I didn't have to go through that. I chose somehow for some reason, it doesn't matter now to ignore them. Now, some of those reasons were noble and some were just because I was wearing a blindfold, but there was no secret kept from me. We should start in the empowered mode because of this, because this is happening all the time. This is there to empower us, that divineness, that divinity, that, are, that individualized divinity that each of us are. That's us being empowered. And when we are connected to it, we become part of that. Well, we're always part of that. What I'm saying is we, we get to release and use that empowerment. And we can expand from there. There's no secret. We don't need to go through a long process to authenticate the divine in us. It's there. It's just there. And you can just go around and see what's going on in your life. And what you're thinking. And then you'll see that divine reality is, is showing through that, that supposed secret how to um, bring things into your life is showing up because of your thoughts, your beliefs. Authentication is not just about proof, but about acknowledgement, awakening, allowing, knowing and believing, sitting in a pool of faith, just sitting there waiting. W-A-D-I-N-G, not waiting, wading in that pool of faith. There's no hypothesis that has to be proved unless you start, unless you start disbelieving things, then you might need to prove a hypothesis. There's no empirical evidence that you have to generate to answer the big questions. Your wonderment, your curiosity, your imagination, and your insight will generate those answers. I could give you tricks and hacks, reminders and philosophy, and I do every week. I could quote you an inspire, to an inspired frenzy 
I can motivate you, lead you, teach you ideas and tools, and I do that every week. But it isn't a secret. You don't have to belong to a club or society. There's no dues required or fees involved. Not even a book that you must read or a guru you must follow. Except me. <laughs> Here's a great quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. He said, there is no great and no small to the soul that maketh all. And where it cometh, all things are, and it cometh everywhere. There's no small. There's no great. It's all there. It's all now. That divine is there. That soul that maketh all, that created all, is right there in you. It comes to you from everywhere. He continues with, I am the owner of the sphere of the seven stars and the solar year, of Caesar's hand and Plato's brain, of Yeshua's heart and Shakespeare's strain. All of that is there. All of that is alive in time and space in the universe. And we can grab hold of pieces of that. We can emulate that. We can model that. Continuing, he says, there is one mind common to all. Everyone is an inlet to the same and to all of the same. One that is once admitted to the right of reason is made free of the whole estate. The whole estate, everything, infinite possibilities, all the wisdom of the ages is there available to you right now. You are free to grasp hold of that whole estate. Nothing is kept from you. There is no secret. When Plato, what, what Plato has thought, he says, you may think. What a saint has felt, you may feel. What at any time has been fallen any one, all can understand. Who hath access to this universal mind is a party to all that is or can be done, for this is the only and sovereign agent. Yes, we see multiplicity, we experience multiplicity, but the truth is there is one mind and we are a sovereign agent of that one mind. It's another way to say we individualize that one mind. We are a sovereign agent of that one mind and that one mind is the wisdom of the ages, the love of the ages, the information, the inspiration that we require in our lives, the infinite possibilities and opportunities. We are sovereign agents of all of that, free to use, free to grasp, free to reveal in our lives. We have access to the universal mind and all its information. And there is one mind. But there is no secret to hold, no secret to be had. There is only education, enlightenment, and awakening. And we authenticate that by living that way. A gentleman named Erwin Schrodinger, who was a Nobel Prize winning physicist and noted expert in quantum theory and statistical and electromechanics, color theory, thermodynamics, while wow, the list goes on, general relativity, cosmology. He's considered one of the fathers of quantum mechanics. He said, the doctrine of identity can claim that it is clinched by the empirical fact that consciousness is never experienced in the plural, only in the singular. Not only has none of us ever experienced more than one consciousness, but there is also no trace of circumstantial evidence of this ever happening anywhere in the world. One mind, no secret. Now we're going to go discuss some quantum mechanics later this month. But till then, let us remember that the greatest secret of them all is there is no secret. There is only learning, remembering, awakening, and allowing. You've already been stamped, certified. You are confirmed. You have been given full access. You've been endorsed, validated, licensed, approved, and ratified. You are the sovereign agent of all information everywhere. All you have to do is put the authentic you into practice. Thank you so much.
Namaste. <laughs>